Hi, welcome to the show. Here's our host, Dr. Phillips. Today, we'll be discussing the Boston Massacre. Introducing the first colonist, Jack Mapleson. The second colonist, William Ferguson! Yeah! It's a to be on a new shirt. Show, Dr. Phillips. And finally, last but not least, Benjamin Dover the Redcoat. You suck! Alright, starting off with the first question. How do you feel about the five dead colonists? I felt surprised and angry. I was angry at them because they actually shot our men. And I also felt surprised that they actually go and shoot us. Like that. Good. Good explanation. Why did you ignore the Britons? Because they attacked us unexpectedly. We had no defense, so we couldn't do anything. How did you feel when the Britons shot at you? Well, I felt threatened because I thought that they were actually going to start something, but I'm glad this, um, this, um, the shots were uh, stopped shortly after they, um, five colonists were killed. Why did you call it the Boston Massacre? To make the British clowns look bad. <laughs> Well, why was John Adams your lawyer, Mr. Redcoat? Because we needed a good lawyer. A.K.A. Dover. Good answer. <laughs> How did you feel about the British punishments? Well, I thought they were unfair. Yeah, because they were unfair because I know that the British would go out and they'd have all these lawyers. I would only get them some little punishment. They should have, like, more jail time. And... Basically, and, John Adams, that's yeah, what the yeah. punishment was, stupid John Adams. John Adams helped him out, basically, but he had to be forced. Why do you feel about your punishment, Victor? I feel good. You just call me. I mean, Mr. Cut Victor, okay. Mr. Dover. Victor Dover. Okay. It doesn't matter. It matter. Oh, you bet. That's his middle name, by the way. Yes. Yes, his middle name is, his full name is Benjamin, Benjamin Victor. Victor Dover. Okay. Moving on. Watch you throw snowballs at the British? Why did you throw snowballs at the British? Me? I threw snowballs at the British because... Uh, because we didn't like the fact that they guarded the office. Thank you. We tried to get to the tax, the tax office. And they wouldn't let us. Do your job. Go kill the French here, or something. Here. Okay. French are gone. <laughs> okay, shut Spain. up. Spain. P. Shut up. We're gonna make this. We're gonna make this. Go to P. Day. Why did the British guard? Why did you guys tar guard the tax collector's office? Because we didn't want these freaks hurting our tax collectors. The only way we freak. <laughs> okay. Why did the British? Why did you guys put taxes on items? So we can pay for the war, and we're richer than these freaks. Okay. <clears throat> Freak. <laughs> Why did you not let the colonists have say in the taxes? We didn't know they would find out about them. Okay. Good explanation. <laughs> well, Mr. Ferguson, can't. Oh wait, okay. Why did you take it to the level of killing colonists? I just don't like these scumbags. And they were Scumbags. What did we ever do to you? Yes. We're Calm down. Get down. Get down. Stand up. Shake your man. I'll punch you guys, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. You know what? That's not funny. You're just retarded. Parkinson. Yes. Yes. Can you describe Paul Revere's painting? It shows that many shots were fired and many colonists were killed just to make the British look bad. And it was the right thing to do because the British are bad. They are. Alright, so if I understood correctly, 
in the painting, there was a guy directing you guys to shoot the colonists. Yes. Is this true? Yes, sir. You guys, That's it for our show. Disgrace to Britain. That's it for our show. I despise you, you British freak. What the freak? Holy! <laughs>